German troops are expected to be deployed in Niger in the coming weeks to participate in a European Union military mission. The German parliament is due to vote on the deployment in the coming weeks. Reports say Germany intends to deploy up to 60 soldiers to Niger as part of an EU operation designed to support the government in Niemi and the building up of its forces. CGTN's Deji Badamosi has more on the story. There are over 50 EU troops in Niger already helping to build up the capacity of the local Nigerian forces in a military program that is expected to last for three years. The German troops, as well as those from other EU countries, are expected to join the program. Western powers like former colonial rule of France had for long established a strong presence in the Sahel, especially in Niger's neighbors Mali and Burkina Faso. But with military takeover of government in those countries, relations between both sides have been badly affected. As a result of this you know, friction in diplomatic relations between France and um, these other countries like Mali and Burkina Faso has resulted in other players coming into the region. Niger is a relatively stable democracy, and as France and its European allies pull out of Mali and Burkina Faso, they're turning their attention there. Niger has turned out to be the bride in the Sahel. Um, the U.S. Um, you know, increased its interest there. It currently has about three uh, bases, uh, an FBI base, a CIA rather base, as well as um, two military bases that it has in, in Niger. Uh, um, France, too, has moved more or less to Niger, and now Germany is showing the same interest. So clearly, it's a coalition of um, Western forces focusing on Niger as a way to have a stronger footprint in, in the region. The Sahel region has become a hub for some terror groups. It's also a major route for irregular migration to Europe and human trafficking, problems that Western powers are very keen on solving. So analysts say it will be unthinkable for these Western powers to abandon the region altogether. And so the Western countries have an interest in a country like Niger, firstly because it borders almost all the countries in the Sahel that have high um, terrorism challenges. And so having that kind of foothold would allow um, the Western countries to understand the groups that are behind this terrorist um, you know, advancement, as it were, and then, of course, prevent them from carrying out any attacks. Experts believe there's also the economic interest, which is often less talked about. Niger is rich in uranium and is the fifth largest producer of the mineral in the world. In 2021, 25% of the country's uranium exports went to Europe, where it was used to produce electricity. French nuclear giant Urano has a huge investment in uranium in the country, and as early March this year, it was in talks with the government to explore new sites in the northern Alid region of Niger. Analysts say this period presents a golden opportunity for Niger, one of the world's poorest countries, to get these Western powers and others to come together and help change the fortune of the country for good. DG Badimasi, CGTN, Lagos, Nigeria.